I'm so excited to show you. y'all I'm Amy and welcome back to Mr. John Farm. Today there is some exciting new life on the farm. I'm so excited to show you. There's actually multiple things. So there, there's one that I'm super excited about but before we get to that one I'm going to show you another one. So come on. So yesterday she had one little chicken there but there was three other pip eggs. So I'm going to show you the little one and then we're going to see if there's any more. Abby please try not to bump the camera stand okay. Okay, my hands are cold. All right, let's see what we've got. I know, Mama, hang on. She wants some food. I got a little bit of food I'm gonna feed her real quick. I'm, gonna, I'm getting right in the way. Hang on, let me move you real quick. Let's move you over here so you can see this way. Whoop. Sit there. Okay, can you see? There we go. Alright, let me see what you got, Mama. Okay, I see in eggshells. Another eggshell. Okay, let's see what we got. Hold on. Hold on, Mama. Here, you lunch on that for a minute. Okay, this is the one that had hatched yesterday. Peach's bowl is in a very interesting... I don't even know what kind this is. No, Abby, you got to move it, baby. Hang on, come here. Let's see what the other chicks are real quick. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at oh, it's all Freya, baby. It's a white crested blue Polish. It looks just like Freya did when she was little. It's a white crested blue Polish. Can I hold it? Oh my gosh. Can I hold it? It's, it's going to be, it's brand new, baby. Let's wait, let's wait a little bit before we don't go hold them much, okay? No problem. There's two eggs that I see. That were, hang on, there's another baby. Oh my gosh, it's the turkin. It's the turkin, baby, and it's black. Oh my goodness, look at that face. Oh my gosh, y'all, look. I had the Julieta, the turkin, and, and uh, Fern, the blue Polish. That's what this baby is. This is a, a white crested blue Polish and a Turkin together. Oh, hold on. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. I am so excited. I am so excited. It's got, it's top of its head is poofy. I wonder if I have a Turkin with like a floof. Oh my gosh, it's so ugly. It's cute. Okay, is that all we got? We just have three babies right now? One, two, three. I had five eggs. Yeah, there's two more eggs in here. Um, hang on, babies. Let me look. Do we have a pip in this egg? <gasps> look, we do. Look. look. It has a little bee. It sounds like a little cheapie. This is another uh, Polish egg. I didn't know if they were going to be the silver lace Polish, the golden lace Polish, or the the uh, white crested blue Polish. So that other one is obviously white crested blue Polish. But I'm thinking one of these might be silver laced or, oh look, this one has a pip too. Look, look Abby. Oh, ah, this is pipped as well. These are the last two. So these will probably hatch by the end of today. So out of six eggs, uh, five of them were fertile because I candled them like me and, or uh, Miriam and I candled them like five days in and they all were fertile except for one. One was not developing. And so out of those five that were fertile, all five are hatching. Okay. You want belly rub? Oh, she's going down already. She's going down. She's going down. See, oh yeah, there we go. See, these babies know what's up. See, they know. They know. <laughs>
got it? All set. Okay, y'all, real quick before we go out there, let me show you what's on Abby's hand. All right, what is this, Abby? Turn it sideways this a little so we can see. This is a dog puppet. And my name is Freddy. Did you sew that all by yourself? Yep. It was from one of Daddy's old socks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You didn't have a pattern or nothing? You just made it up? No pattern. Point it down a little so I can see his face. Mm -hmm. They were so cute. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer, y'all. And maybe I can tell if it's a boy or a girl. Okay. I'm going to be ready to run, but I'm going to try. up this morning and I was looking out the window and Abby is the one who saw she's like oh, Myrtle had her baby and I had just said that um like on my last video I said I didn't think she was close because she wasn't huge normally y'all her belly is so huge she just like waddles and that's not a small baby so I don't know I'm surprised it the timing was right but I didn't think she was big enough so I thought she wasn't red when I thought she was but I guess she was all right, let's rock and roll. All right, y'all. So number one, the sweet new baby girl is gonna need a name. The other one is Honey Blossom. So she already has a home lined up. Um, she will be six months old at the end of January and she'll be going to a new home. Um, this one, this one I think I might keep here. Um, I'm already looking into a way to rehome the stallion donkey. And so I think I'm going to keep this one here, but she needs a little, a name. She needs a name. Fern. We can't call her Fern. We have a rooster named Fern. Oh. oh yeah. yeah yeah so we did we're doing like we have like a lot of flower names going on um blossom and then Lacey started calling her honey blossom and then i just call her honey um but it's honey blossom and then um dandelion myrtle so it's myrtle's baby and so the thing is the farm has so many flower names already there's so many flower names like i think they're mostly all taken so we're gonna have to do something different oh <gasps> we could call her cricket yes! Yes! that's a name that the kids have been wanting to use for so long she looks like a cricket she does we could use that just a minute let me look up i want to see what the name means real quick i'll be right back Okay, y'all, I looked up the meaning of cricket as a name. And it means, Abby, tell us. Joy and happiness. Joy and happiness. Isn't that like perfect? Like perfect timing. Perfect, yeah. I think, I think that's what it's going to be. It's not a flower name. That's okay. It's, a, it's like an insect, bugs, flowers. It's all, it's all nature-y, right? <laughs> Okay, that's what we're going to call her. We're going to call her Cricket. Oh, I like that. Did you put a tomato on a stick? Yeah. 
and you're eating it like a lollipop. Back over there, can y'all see that right there? That's an Everglades tomato plant that, y'all, they just keep going and going. Um, and they produce little red tomatoes, like tinier than that. And Lacey has one on the stick that she's eating like a lollipop. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to stop for a little while and go do some other stuff. And then I'm gonna bring y'all back in a couple of hours and we're gonna check those pipped eggs under pickles. Um, pipped just means like they have the first little crack um, that's starting the little hole. So what they do is they pip and then they make their way around the circumference of the egg cracking on the inside and then they just like the end just pops off. I'll show you what I mean when I go show you when we go check for chicks later I'll show you the shells of the other chicks and I'll explain better how they how they break out of a shell but um we're gonna do that in a little while because there's two eggs that are broken already starting to hatch and we're gonna give them a couple hours before we check again so i'll be back to do that shortly did i not bump the fence Alright y'all, it is later now. It has warmed up quite a bit. It's actually almost too warm for our flannel now. Um, I was going to talk to you about the eggs and the pipping and the hatching. So, at day 20 to 21, and apparently it's a little earlier, like a day or two earlier for bantams, the egg will pip, which means that the chick's beak will poke through the membrane and inside the egg and then poke a hole into the shell and then they will start to breathe air. Now the chick has what's called an egg tooth on the end of its beak that falls off within 12 to 24 hours after hatching but it uses that egg tooth to pip a hole and then it works its way around the whole perimeter of the egg. Like see how almost perfect that is? all the way around and then it just pops off the top and comes out just like that isn't that cool it takes from the initial pip to fully hatching usually about 12 to 24 hours um and that's how everyone is that's how they do it so we're going to check here and see if we have any more chicks hatched. I have the heat lamp off because it's warmed up and they don't need it because they have their mama. All right, pickles, let's see what you have, honey. Do you have any new babies? Now, you'll remember we had a little naked neck turkin. We had a black one and we had a white crested blue Polish. I have in the chicken tractor where I got these eggs from, I have um, the rooster is a white crested blue Polish. I have one hen that's a white crested blue Polish. And then I have a silver laced and a golden laced Polish. I have a turkin. And I grabbed, okay, that's what's out there. So I grabbed eggs from there to put in here. But I had one other one. And y'all, I don't remember what it was the little black chick i'm going to show you real quick Mama. we have one more baby but real quick let me show you Woo! it's okay mama i'll be quick see this one i don't know i don't remember what egg this was it's got a it's gonna have a little beard just see the little beard that it's got And I don't remember, I don't remember where I got it. It doesn't have feathers on its feet. So now I don't know. I don't remember what egg I put in here, the other one. Okay. But, let's see. Okay. So 
here's here's one of the Polish, the white crested blue Polish babies. And then here's the naked neck or the turkin crossed with the Polish rooster. one and this looks like we've got another white crested blue polish and this one is just hatched can you see the tip of its beak see that little boop that's the little egg tooth that will fall off in 12 to 24 hours oh my goodness it's so new okay it's chilly for you baby i'm gonna put you back Go. And then this one, if you look at that, it's working its way around. Oh, can you see that? I hear you, baby. It's going to keep working around and then pop this top right off. Can you see it? There's its, there's its beak right there. Okay, and this is another Polish egg, and I don't know if it's from the, the blue Polish um, hen or not. My, please don't do that. I really wanted to see a cross between the silver lace or the golden lace and the blue, but I don't know if, I, if they are laying or not because my silver laced Polish, her name is Mary Poppins, and she was molting. And so I thought maybe she was past her molt by the time I was getting eggs for them, but I don't know. So I gave her some feed. One of the little chickies ate a little, but y'all, when she lifted up, I saw the egg. Look at it. Look at that. Oh, there it is. There it is. A new little baby just popped out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hi, Mama. Let me see. There it is. let it get all warm and dry and fuzzy we'll be back pickles we'll come back out and see what that little one looks like all dried out the last one they all hatched you were such a good mama pickles big mama will come see me please don't lay on me okay please don't yeah no, I, I would rather not that. They're too large. Oh, they found a camera stand. Here they are. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Little ones. Little ones. They're going to scratch themselves on the stand now. Yep. Y'all going to knock it over. Y'all going to knock it over. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here they are. 
Here they are. There's some of them. Oh, it's just gonna. And Miss Sugar's gonna chew on my boot. Okay, cool. Just wanna snuggle them. Just wanna snuggle, snuggle. Snuggle, snuggle. Spookly, you keep bumping the camera. Snuggle, snuggle. I know it. I know it. I know it. And down it goes. I am getting ready to do uh, Christmas pictures. I like to do. Okay, y'all. Not. Um, not many people. Really? Really? No, don't do that. We don't do that. We are kind. Be kind. Y'all, not many people. It's probably really windy. Maybe I should move. I don't know if y'all can. <laughs> Annabelle. Yeah, you saw me out here. She just came galloping. She didn't see. No, now she's going to eat it. Stop, don't eat it. Okay, I moved in here so there's no wind noise. But what I was saying is that not many people do Christmas cards anymore, y'all. I love Christmas cards, okay? I I do the ones where um, it's like the one sheet, one, one um, thing with like the family picture on it and it says something on it, it's like one-sided thing. Um, I've done one of those almost every year. I love doing those, but I love regular Christmas cards too. And I use my Christmas cards as like Christmas display, like on something in my house. And people don't do them anymore, hardly at all. Like I get, last year I got like three, that's it. I got one from my Aunt Brenda, she always does one. Well, my husband's aunt, but she's Aunt Brenda. To all of us um i got one from my husband's aunt linda and then i think it's the other one was from like someone my husband's work that's it y'all three christmas cards i put them up i displayed them because i love them but that's it but anyway the point is i like doing christmas cards the goats are trying to stop it y'all quit hang on i'm gonna do christmas cards the picture for the christmas cards soon okay and i'm going to put animals in it this time i've never done animals in a christmas card before it's always just been you know family pictures but annabelle is literally eating don't do that come here don't do that. okay so y'all, I was thinking like what would be really fun is to do each kid with an animal. Abby wants to do the new baby donkey. I don't know, like I'm planning on doing the picture like next week. So we're gonna see if I can get her separate from her mama just for a tiny bit of time and put like maybe a little red ribbon around her neck or something. And then Abby would like have the leash of her Obviously, Levi wants Batman. Stop. Stop. Which works well. Batman already has a red collar. See, he's already got a red collar. He's already festive. So, we'll do Levi wants Batman. And then Lacey. I don't know if Lacey's going to choose a piglet or a chicken or what. She wants something like that. She would, she would probably say her cat, Raja. But I... I highly doubt Roger's gonna cooperate for something like that. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, but she's gonna pick an animal and I would say like she could hold a chick, but that's too small. She, she probably needs something bigger. She's probably gonna choose a chicken. She might choose Samson. She loves Samson. That would be funny, he's huge. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do some pictures for family for family Christmas cards because I like doing that. I enjoy it. I absolutely love the holidays so much. I don't, okay, 
I love it, but I don't get a Christmas tree until after Thanksgiving. I get, we go and we get a live Christmas tree and hello dear. And so in order for it to stay alive, because the fireplace in our house dries out the living room and the tree won't last that long. So I do, I get the Christmas tree the weekend after Thanksgiving. That's our tradition. And we all, we all go, we all pick one out and the kids all get Batman. This is not pleasant. Stop. Anyway, yeah, we do the um, matching Christmas pajamas. Yes, for those people. I get matching Christmas pajamas for all of us and I bake Christmas cookies and we decorate the tree and we watch a Christmas movie and we drink eggnog and hot chocolate. And then through the holidays, we do like cookie decorating parties and we do hay rides and we do like, it's just fun, y'all. It's just a fun holiday. Batman, please stop. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, wait just a little bit longer and then before i wrap up this video we're going to take one last peek i turn the light back on so as you can see because it clouded it got really cloudy out there and the temperature dropped a little bit so i don't have the light shining in there on her i just have it just kind of out here on the front to keep it generally warm but anyway um we're gonna give this this last chick some time to fluff up so we can see what it looks like and then, Annabelle, get down. Okay, and then I'll wrap up the video. Okay, y'all, it's been about an hour. I'm just gonna show you this last baby. Look. Dad. This one's all like yellow. So I don't know. This one's not blue lay, like blue Polish, I mean. Oh, Alright, y'all, we've got a little storm rolling in and it's getting chillier. And so I'm gonna go ahead on in and cook some tacos tonight for supper. So uh, I'm going to leave y'all with some videos of Little Cricket that I took earlier today before the storm started rolling in. Alright y'all, until next time, keep on the sunny side.